I use CO2, but I don't like to waste it in order to pressure test vessels, so I use it to force carbonate. This is water in that Perry bottle, and this is beer in this one. And I get the beer from my Cornelius keg here, which has been partially pressurized with CO2 from my tank, but I don't like to keep the keg cold so I put these bottles in the fridge and then I force carbonate them as I need them. So the keg uses the CO2, the bottles use it and I get this CO2 from Calgary but I don't want to have to drive all the way in because I've been wasting it to pressure test things like my fermentation vessel that I use for uh, say pressure fermenting a lager. So we're going to look at using uh, the cheaper option of air. So this now leads us to the air part of this and on the left you can just see a portable air tank that you can fill at uh, the gas station or from your compressor meant for carrying around in your car and filling up your tires or keeping in your garage filling up your bike tires. I cut the Schrader valve assembly off the end for filling tires and simply added on a quick connect instead. That allows me to attach this to the Firmzilla and then put pressure into the headspace of the Firmzilla with my air tank here. And you could also use a uh, foot pump uh, such as one for a bicycle and put a quick connect on it instead. So now I'm connecting it to the takeoff line and uh, then I'm entering pressure through that line introducing it into the fermentation vessel. You'll see the spunding valve below and it was last set for around 15 for a lager and so it should take me up to about that point as I'm pressurizing and you can see here that it purged right uh, just a little before it got to 15. So now what I'm going to be doing is uh, if these connects are in fact not leaking I should maintain constant pressure for I would say I'll give it like I don't know a few hours and if you're gonna have any small leaks you'll see your spunding valve pressure will start to decrease. So I'm just now putting it back slowly up to about the 15 mark and if it won't hold quite there I can either just accept whatever it's set at now or I can adjust it. Then uh, what I will do after I'm sure that it's going to hold its pressure is then I'll put uh, a tap on there and I will run this sterilizing solution that's in here now through my lines and then I can uh, proceed to put my beer in there.